everyone, and welcome to Reading with Miss Jessa, the monthly show where we talk about books, books, books. This month, we're talking about what to read in the new year, specifically books to read to support your New Year's resolutions. Now, before we get too deep into this, I would like to start by saying that you don't have to set a New Year's resolution. You are perfectly you, and any changes you make should be because you want to. With that in mind, these books here will help empower you to succeed at any of the goals you decide to set. Let's get started. Are you ready to reject society standards for beauty and love yourself for the amazing person you are? If so, let's join the revolution together. This is Self Love Revolution, Radical Body Positivity for Girls of Color by Virgie Tovar. It covers all the different ways that history, media, and even the economy have influenced our idea of beauty. Once we understand how beauty was created, we can reclaim it for ourselves and love each other for the unique people we are. Read this book to learn more about how you can love the body you have right now and reclaim your happiness in the new year. Virtual and hybrid schooling can be a lot to handle, let alone the millions of other things we have going on in our everyday lives. That's where this book comes in. This is Six Super Skills for Executive Functioning by Dr. Lara Hano Swift. It has tools to help teens like yourselves improve focus, stay organized, and reach your goals. Dr. Hano Swift includes strategies on how to improve your attention, get better at planning, manage your emotions, and control those impulses. Sprinkled through it are stories of challenges other teens are going through and how these same strategies help them change their circumstances. It's a great resource to help you feel more grounded as we move into another year of uncertainty. Speaking of uncertainty, 2020 was a crazy year. Does anyone else remember the zombie meek in Denmark? <sighs> Whatever this next year brings, we can be sure that not all of it will make us happy. To help us better control our emotions, I have two books to recommend. The first is Your Life, Your Way by Joseph B. Siriachi and Louise L. Hayes. This book is more of a workbook than a reading book. They have a lot of questions and activities that will help you better understand what you're feeling and how to build resilience. We just ask that if you use our copy, please write on a separate piece of paper and not in our book. It might make us unhappy. In fact, it could make us really angry, and that's okay. This is Zero to 60 by Michael A. Tompkins. The book teaches you how to manage your anger, starting by breaking it down into three parts, angry thoughts, angry body, and angry actions. Once you can identify each of these, Tompkins walks you through strategies for de-escalating and communicating. Anger is a natural response, and we felt plenty of it this past year. For anyone who thinks they may need some help processing that anger, this book is for you. That's all we have for this month. We hope these books empower you to move confidently into the new year. If you would like to read any of them for yourself, be sure to visit grompl.org to place a hold, or check out our OverDrive collection for eBooks and e-audio. Until next time, happy reading!